lot of people in the e-commerce industry use WooCommerce for selling their products. Now, if you have used WooCommerce before, you know that in a single order that gets created inside WooCommerce, there can be multiple products added inside a single order. Okay, so I'm going to give you an explanation on the iterator module today. Iterator module is something which is available inside Pabli Connect and it allows you to basically go through all the products inside a single order and save those products somewhere so that you can really review it at a later stage on what a customer has purchased. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to WooCommerce because I have already made one order which actually includes multiple products inside a single order. So for example, if you can see this order, the order number is 488 and inside this order, we actually have multiple items that are purchased in a single order. So you can see Nike shoes, Nike shoes 2 and Nike shoes 3. So there are three products which are purchased uh, inside this single order number 488 uh, number. So you can see the total amount is coming right here. And what we really want to do is we want to pick up this order number 488 and we actually want to pick up all the items which are called line items and we want to store this line items from this order inside a Google Sheet file. Now all these orders are basically happening in real time. So what we have done is we have actually added a webhook. Uh, webhook is a way to get data from an external software inside some other workflow. For example, in this case, we are getting data inside Public Connect so that we can run some automation sequence and store the very same data somewhere. So as you can see the WooCommerce settings, if I move to the advanced tab right here, and if I move to webhooks, I have actually created a one webhook, which is the delivery URL is right here. You can see the topic is order created. So whenever a new order is created, this specific webhook will send the whole data to this specific delivery URL. And because I have just made this purchase, uh, this order detail is already posted and sent to Pabli Connect in real time. So I'm just moving the tab right here. And you can see I created a trigger by the name of WooCommerce. I am inside the Pabli Connect panel. And you can see the method is new order created. And I have already received a webhook response for this specific order in real time. So you can see it includes all the details like the ID of the order, the number of the order, order key created via checkout page, processing, currency, date created, GMT time date, modified date and all those kind of details are already here. Now, if you move a bit down, you will actually figure out that there is a line items field right here. Now this line item key, in fact, we will call it a key because uh, this is a JSON and JSON always comes with a key and value pair. So if you see this line items, line items is equivalent to Nike shoes, Nike shoes two and Nike shoes three. It basically includes the list of all the products or items inside this order. Okay, so we can see that this specific line items actually includes all the details about all the products that have been purchased uh, inside a single order. Now, interpreting and checking this uh, whole data is a little complex in itself because it is all coding and stuff. And inside Pabli Connect, we are all no code platform. So that means you do not even have to know anything about coding to make sure that you can run your workflows. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is just because it will be easier to interp interpret, I'm just going to copy this. So I have already copied the entire line items data and I actually went to this website, which is jsoneditoronline.org. Now in reality, you actually don't have to go inside this website to check anything. The only reason I'm showing you uh, this platform is just because it will make you easier. It will make it easier for you to understand the whole concept behind iterator. In fact, first I will have to copy this whole data and then I will have to click on preview. So as you can see, basically this data, it organized this whole data into multiple blocks of data. For example, inside this line items, you can see that there are three different blocks. The first block is for the first item. The second block is for the second item and then the third block is for the third item. 
and as you can see it includes all the details of first item which is nike shoes then it includes the whole block of second block product which is nike shoes 2 and then the nike shoes 3 so you can see that pretty much everything is organized inside a multiple objects inside an array in fact i'm talking about arrays and objects don't worry about that because the iterator module will simplify everything for you okay basically what iterator module is going to do is it will basically traverse this zeroth object first it will pick all the name and values and quantities and everything then it will go to the second object and then it will go to the third object uh, in fact the indexing is 0 1 2 but i am going to tell you this is the first object this is the second object and this is the third object so I am now heading back to Pabli Connect dashboard and the first thing that you have to do is you just have to click this plus button right here and then you have to use the iterator module right here okay and in this specific case I am going to use the line items because I actually want to traverse across the line items one by one so I am choosing the line items right here and then I am just going to click on save and I am just going to click on send test request so as you can see it actually picked up the first object from this whole line items array. So you can see the details of the product name, the product ID, the quantity in which this product has been purchased and then the total amount. So what I'm going to do is next is I'm just going to click on this plus button again because we really want to publish all this data one by one inside one of our Google Sheet file which I already prepared. What I really want to do and add inside this Google Sheet file is to add an order ID then the product name, then the product ID, then the product quantity, and then the amount, okay? So I'm heading back uh, to my Public Connect dashboard. In the next step, I'm going to choose Google Sheets, and I want to append values. So I'm just going to click on Connect with Sheets because I have already authorized one of my accounts. So I'm just going to select a previous credentials, which will actually authorize my account automatically. And then inside this spreadsheet, I will choose WooCommerce order details. It, it automatically selected WooCommerce order details. Sheet one is the one date, one sheet in which we really want to add our data. So you can see sheet one is right here. I will increase the font size a bit. And then I'm just going to put out the values. As you can see, there are one, two, three, four, and five different hats. So I'm just going to add five pairs of double quotes, third pair, the fourth pair, and the fifth pair. So I added five pairs of double quotes. In the first thing, in the first uh, column, we actually have to enter the order ID. And order ID is something that we are getting in the first step itself. And this is the order ID that we really want to map, which is 488. So I'm just click placing my cursor right here. And I'm choosing the ID right here as it is. Next is the product name. So I'm just placing my cursor right here. And from within the iterator module, I'm choosing the name of the product, which is right here. After this is the product ID and then the product quantity. So I'm placing my cursor here. So the product ID is again going to be on the second block, which will be product ID is 270 and then the quantity. And this is the quantity. And the last option is the amount, the product amount. So I'm just placing my cursor right here and I will be just adding the product price, which is $400 right here. Once I mapped everything, I'm just going to save it. And I'm just going to send a test request. So the test request is successful. I will head back and you can see one of the data is already added. This means our automation is working fine, but still you haven't seen all the values from an iterator. And that is just because uh, we are just running it as a sample automation. But if we can actually order something now, all new rows will be automatically created in real time. So I will show you the workflow again. First is the trigger for WooCommerce. After receiving the webhook response, the next step is to pass the response of line items uh, inside an iterator because we want to open this line underscore items array and one by one I want to pick up the values. Once the values are picked up, I actually want to send, this, send those values across to Google Sheets. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to go back to my WooCommerce store and I'm going to order one of the new products. In fact, I will create a new order. And in fact, I will actually buy multiple things 
inside this single order. So I'm just sorting it by popularity because that way all the good looking products will be on top. So I will just add it at this product and I will add it one more time. Then I will add Nike shoes seven and Nike shoes three also looks good. So I will just add this and because Nike shoes two looks good as well. I will just add this one more time and then one more time. Okay. Now I will head back to my view cart and you can see there are two quantities of new product eight, one quantity of Nike shoes seven, one quantity of Nike shoes three and two quantities of Nike shoes two. So the total order is about $5,100 and because everything looks fine to me, I'm just going to proceed to checkout. And as you can see, my details and everything is already filled up and I'm just going to select the cash on delivery option and I'm just going to place this order. As soon as I do that, you can see my order number is 489. The total is 5130 and it is the mode of payment is cash delivery. Now we will head back to Google sheet and we will wait for about two, three minutes because sometimes the WooCommerce webhook comes with a bit of delay, but let's head back to Google sheet and just wait for about one minute. So as you can see, the Google sheet is now populated. You can see the order ID is 489. The product name is new product eight. The product ID is 286 and then the product quantity is two and then the amount is right here. So you can see inside this order ID, all the line items are now added to Google sheet. And this is the power of iterator. Whenever there is new order that is going to happen, it will keep the order ID same right here, but it will publish all the items inside a single order one by one in a different row inside your Google sheet file. I hope you must have understood the whole concept behind iterator. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, get in touch with us. Our team sits on, um, on support and you can always send us an email at admin at So thank you for watching this video.